What's up, y'all? Be the truck here coming inside with another video. Uh oh. I'm frustrated, y'all. I really am. I'm frustrated. Um, I don't know. I won't say I'm quite frustrated to the fullest just yet, but I'm pretty damn close. I put it like that. Um, you guys been following me this week, you know, or I won't say following me, but. If you've been kind of somewhat paying attention and, you know, on Instagram and, you know, you scroll and you come across some of my posts, you guys know I've been in the shop all week long. In and out the shop, I put it like that. Um, let me see what happened. Monday, truck was in the shop because... Friday, the uh, the brakes locked up on me, and the truck wouldn't start. Tuesday was an okay day; everything went good. Wednesday got stuck in the fuel line uh, here at AMX on the yard. Got stuck in the fuel line. Thursday. You guys seen it on Instagram. Uh, I know you guys you seen it on Wednesday as well. Uh, and then on Thursday, you guys seen I was stuck again because my truck went store. I was stuck at Panama City, Florida. Truck went store. And then today, I know you guys seen uh, seen it today as well. And uh, truck went store today. So. Uh, I started packing my stuff up out of that truck, you know, because at this point I'm fed up with it and, you know, I'm not taking no for an answer. You know, you they either going to have to put me in another truck or really fix what's wrong with, with my truck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not talking about, you know, we ain't finna just patch shit up. Put a band-aid on to send you on your way and I'll be back tomorrow. Nah, we're not gonna do that shit. Um you know, it needs to be fixed. Um you know, I actually I told I told my pops, I told my dad yesterday that if they don't put me in another truck or they don't fix the problem, then you know, I'm willing to quit this job because I feel like that's ridiculous, you know. And I think Anybody that's a truck driver, you know, you guys that that can relate we, we understand exactly where I'm coming from because it's like The truck is how we make our money, you know what I'm saying? The truck don't move, we're not getting paid You know uh, I don't wake up every morning just to Sit in this truck and do absolutely nothing, you know, if I'm in the truck, I expect to be driving it somewhere I don't want it to be in the shop, you know what I'm saying? I don't want the breakdown pay. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm going to take it while I'm broke down, but I'm saying I don't, that's not what I'm trying to live off of. I'm not trying to live off, live off of breakdown pay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, something got to give. And the reason I'm willing to quit is because, I mean, if you don't care about your drivers enough to put them in something reliable and you just want to, patch it up and send them on the way and so they come right back the next day or two days later or a week later or a month later um you know you wasting my time you know i can go somewhere else you know to where they are actually fix what was wrong with the truck or put me in something better you know what i'm saying and i know new trucks can tear up too or newer truck or whatever like I'm the type of driver, it ain't even got to be a brand new 2020, 2021. It ain't, it ain't got to be that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just put me in something, in something reliable. Something that's not going to have me sitting on the side of the road every day of the week. Um, but right now, I mean, as you guys can, can tell in the back, you know, I'm in a different truck right now. I'm not going to be... Um, in this truck 
loan. Like I, this truck just basically to get me through the day. But um, they put me in this truck. This truck ain't no better than the truck that that I'm in now. It's really, it's really no better. Um, I have stuff broke on the outside of the truck that shouldn't be broke. Stuff on the inside of the truck that shouldn't be broke. Um, I'm not going to show it because I don't know if they watch my videos and that and I'm not going to know fully put them on blast or nothing like that you know because I didn't drop the company name or whatever but it's just it's just certain certain things I feel you know is just unacceptable and my truck situation is one of those things I just really feel is unacceptable And this stuff didn't just start either, y'all. It this been going on for a while. Um, I want to say probably about a month ago. I actually had to stay in a hotel. I got caught out on the road, maybe two months ago. I don't know. It was recent enough ago, though. I put it like that. And um, I, I had to stay in a hotel room for like almost two days. And, uh, it was something about my brakes air dryer leakage is what I was having a problem with the um I don't know it was causing my, my air pressure to drop too low and I would hit the gas and it wouldn't move breakdown put in a hotel room I said about a day and a half two days um, I get the truck back, everything's fine for that moment. Uh, the very next day, I get the same little message code thing on the dash say air dry leakage and the air air pressure is steady dropping, but it's not dropping, you know, to the the point where I can't drive, you know what I'm saying? And maybe I should have said something then but i didn't because i didn't feel like going back in the shop like i mean i gotta work man like i don't want to be stuck in the shop all the time so it's like if the truck can drive if i can drive the truck there's no problem but it becomes a problem when the truck is undrivable you know what i'm saying that's when the problem occur occurred and uh It's just, it's crazy because it be such short notice. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what did y'all do to the truck when it was in the shop? It's like nobody fixes the truck. Like, not even people from out of town. Like, what, what was y'all doing when y'all had the truck for a day and a half, two days in the shop? What did y'all do? Because evidently you did nothing because the same problem is it still happened two days later so then put the truck in the shop down here get it back drive good probably the rest of the week maybe even next two weeks get the same message again I don't say nothing because I can still drive you know it ain't it ain't stopping nothing then truck starts cutting off maybe I say the next month truck start cutting off won't start put it in the shop get it back everything good for a minute you know maybe we good for two months now nah. you know then it starts happening again you know so it's like Okay, so y'all really ain't doing that. Like y'all is like really legit, like just patching the shit up, sending me on my way. You know, and and so now you know that's the point where I, I'm starting to get frustrated. 
asking you no. I'm not getting asked frustrated because by this point, I'm um, you know, I'm run, I'm running low or whatever. I'm pulling the wood the wood chips, and you know, if I, if I break down, you know, I'm right here at the house, so I ain't really too much tripping on that. But then it starts happening so often, even though I'm here at, at home, I'm not working. And and I, I don't like that. You feel me? I don't like that. Because if like what what the hell am I waking up early as hell for, you know, thinking I'm finna come to work, you know, and do what I do and go home. But really, I'm just waking up early, coming to work. To sit here and look at these folks, and something about that just don't sit right with me. I, I don't like that. So, reason I'm in this truck right now, uh, like I said, just to get me through the day. Um, Y'all yeah, see the big lit mattress back there? It's a brand new mattress in there or in here. Uh, but this is not a brand new truck by no means. Uh, this is not my assigned truck. They uh, they told me that they putting a new starter in my truck. So still no new truck, but they say they putting a starter in it. So we gonna see if after they put this starter in, if I have any more problems. If I have any more problems, then it's really gonna have to be like new truck or quit. Like no questions asked because I I can't I can't keep doing this I'm I'm not gonna keep doing this um, I'm tired of looking at these folk in the shop I'm tired of walking to the shop um every damn day um, I'm, I'm sick of that it's like the, the matter of fact the load that I'm assigned to right now the damn trailer is in the shop right now and I'm like what what the heck if it's in the shop why the hell Am I assigned to the to the load? You know what I'm saying? Like, like what are y'all doing? Like, I, I, cause I'm starting to feel like, you know, you coming at me. You feel? Me? That's how I'm starting to feel. But maybe I'm feeling like that because I'm frustrated. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying not to really, you know, play too more too too much into that. You feel? Me? Maybe they ain't coming at me. That's just how I feel. But I'm just I'm just tired of sitting here. I'm just tired of, you know, coming to the shop. Just fix the truck or put me in something new. It's that simple. Like it ain't it ain't hard. I don't complain about like like I said, it ain't even gotta be a brand new 20 uh 2020 truck or nothing like that. It ain't gotta be new. Just give me something that ain't gonna break down. Because all the trucks do the same. I don't sleep in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm local. You know, so it's like I don't I don't give a damn about the truck for real. But I'm definitely frustrated. I am definitely frustrated. I'm going to end that video, end this video right here, um, cause I had to come on here and just vent to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just vent to y'all. But as always, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Follow me on Instagram at b underscore the trucker. That's b underscore t h a trucker. Add me on Snapchat at b bizzle underscore three. That's b b i Z Z L E underscore three. Yeah, y'all high level.